Now, the president will continue his push for support tomorrow when he meets with ranking members of the Senate and House National Security Committees. Russia is also lobbying U.S. lawmakers, saying that it will send its own delegation to Capitol Hill to try and convince them not to back the president's plan for military action. With more details on what happens next, we turn to Syrian Americans here in the Valley. Some are calling for quick military action, including two Valley doctors with ties to that region. CBS 5's Sean Klein is live to explain. Sean? Well, seeing both of them tell me there's no other course of action in their opinions, the U.S. has to oust the Assad regime. And both of these Valley residents fearing for families and friends, some of whom still live in Syria. I could have died. He immigrated to the U.S. out of fear. He was not aiming at anything. He was just shooting at the car. Now, Zaki Lavabidi is away from gunfire, a Valley cardiologist, but pleading with Congress to send troops to Syria. Nothing will stop this mad dictator, this butcher. Nothing will stop this butcher except force. His concerns lie with Bashar al-Assad's regime. And another Valley doctor with close ties to the country is making the same plea. The country is dying and the war will not end until one side has lost its human assets. Dr. Zudi Jasser has written books about these conflicts and still has family in Syria. The vast majority of people living in fear of the Assad regime. With news of alleged chemical attacks on its own people, Jasser says Americans need to step up. I do not take uh, sending our sons and daughters into war very easily. Uh, but I can tell you in my understanding of Syria and what my father and my grandfather fought for and why they came to the United States, this is the, it has been the right time to act. Despite anti-war protests around the world, even this one here in the Valley, those with close ties to Syria insist on military strikes, saying if Congress does not act, it sends a bad message to other world leaders. When the United States say chemical weapons is a red line, we mean it. When the United States tells Iran you cannot have a nuclear weapon, we mean it. And many others in Arizona's Syrian community are also appealing to Congress to take military action, but overall mixed opinions among that community on whether or not a military strike is necessary. Reporting live, Sean Klein, CBS 5 News. Sean, thank you.